I think going back to the big, the nut of all this, where the real gem is, um, love what you do and make sure you're clear on what it is you want on the other side. If, if it's mm -hmm. a big payout and it's a, you know, you want to make sure that you're going to create a unicorn, um, start with a big idea. If you don't have that big idea, um, it's like, I'm just going to make that thing that was made before better. It's like, eh, probably not, right? That's a, this is gonna, you're going to get shorted on that one every time. Um, think like an investor and think, well, what's this, what's the opportunity space? Uh, first of all, is it huge? It has to be huge if you're going to go for something like that. And um, is it being addressed? What's the, what's the competitive marketplace look like? Is, what's, what problem are you solving that hasn't been solved yet? And then finally, once you have those big ideas, because lots of people have great ideas, it's like, do you have the team? Do you have the people necessary to deliver that? And when, when you get all those questions right, actually the rest of it starts to fall in place pretty quickly. Uh, but but those are those are really hard questions. With so many people out there trying so many things, it's difficult to find that unique space. Yeah, I think also executing on it because you meet so many people who uh, say they got a million dollar idea or a billion dollar idea. It's like that's cute. Like I'm yeah. pretty sure everybody has those all day long. But your willingness to actually um, execute on it and have the perseverance to stick with it as well, rather than oh, I've got another idea over here I want to pursue it too. Yeah. <laughs> No, something people have all the time is like uh, I hear all the time. I have this idea for a game, and I'm like, I'm, I'm sure you do, right? Mm -hmm. um, and if, especially if you're a gamer, you probably have lots of ideas for games. They're probably mostly derivative, if you're going to be really honest about it. Um, but at the same time, you might have some unique ideas. But the ability to execute is wow, that's critical. That's the team part. You need to know what it is, and or if you don't have a team, how are you going to build it? That's another mm -hmm. big learning of mine, which is it's difficult to assemble um, a team to be a success. It's uh, it's it's usually the second, third, fourth, fifth time somebody tries something as a group, or maybe maybe it's not just a tries, but maybe it's just a lot of effort over time before they finally get their groove and it works. It takes a while to gel. Um, it's pretty rare to just assemble a group of experts and put something out. Um, yeah. I think Hollywood has gotten very very good at that, which is shocking in a way. The, the way production companies work, you know, you get a script, you put together a cast, you. You build in a bunch of uh, people, you put them together, you throw them together on things and they blow it all up at the end of the project. That's just, mm -hmm. wow, that's just, uh, it's to me as a creator and a person that's created um, companies and groups, that just seems so challenging and wasteful, uh, but it's the model and the, it's the model that's prevalent. Um, and that being said, you look at like great directors, almost all of them have a, a, a group of, of, of uh, actors and behind the scenes people they work with on a regular basis because they do want to have that muscle memory and that history. Yeah, and communication, having that relationship is really important. Uh, I just had the visual effects supervisor for Dune on and obviously Denis, the director, he, they worked together on several films, um, Blade Runner, which obviously you'd be familiar with that IP, uh, and, and quite a few others. And, and that's just it, you kind of, I think especially when it comes to management the more that you can build that vocabulary with the people you work with whether it's above you or below you it means that they understand what you you mean when you say make it 10 percent bigger or, or make it a bit more dynamic or whatever elusive meaningless words um, you want to throw at it so um freeing them up like letting those people go you're losing weeks months of um of them learning you know what you really want so i think that's priceless to to have that understanding 